Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. This has been my favorite way to learn biblical languages by John Dobson. I did a, a deal on uh, his Greek, which I'm still shocked. I haven't like studied Greek in years, and when I run across Greek, I'm like, I can still read that. You know, but uh, Hebrew as well. Now, Hebrew is a little more difficult than uh, Greek, but here he says you can begin learning biblical Greek in two hours, and that is true. If you will follow the steps in here, um, if you're like me, okay, start reading meaningful verses from the Hebrew Bible after just two hours of study. That is true. I've studied a lot of Hebrew in my time, and I tell you what, I got so upset when finally the scam was revealed and I realized that uh, what the Old Testament was written in was not what we call biblical Hebrew here. This was something that evidently Ezra came up with, which is kind of a mixture of Aramaic and Hebrew, but Paleo-Hebrew. So then I had to go study Paleo-Hebrew. And I enjoy studying Paleo-Hebrew, but I'm terrible at Paleo-Hebrew, but I've learned a lot from Paleo-Hebrew. But this is, if you want to learn what's called Biblical Greek, this is uh, phenomenal. Happy is the class whose teacher is bold enough to take this humane and scientifically sound approach in learning Biblical Hebrew. As a matter of fact, this was going to be my Hebrew text. I'll show you what's in here. When uh, Brother French left Indiana Bible College, I was kind of left holding the bag of Dean of Theology there. He was the executive vice president, and I was going to have to teach Hebrew and Greek. Fortunately, I went to Sister Jen Mast at the time, who was a tour de force in all things biblical literature. She's one of the great hidden gems and geniuses in the apostolic movement in so many ways. I mean, just general literature. Um, I'll show you the rest of this here too while I'm talking. And uh, she agreed to teach Hebrew and Greek, and then we developed, and I guess it's still there, a, a course called Introduction to Biblical Languages, where people could just take, you know, eight-week segments of Greek and eight-week segments of Hebrew, so at least get them uh, some acquaintance with it, and to see if they wanted to go further in learning Hebrew and Greek. But um, my Duluth, this is. Duluth Trading Company. I've got that marking a spot. But uh, uh, Indiana Bible College has an amazing biblical languages program, and it is uh, due to Sister Jen Mast that is there. And uh, and she's been teaching it for many, many years, I would just encourage her to continue to seek out um, the most proficient ways to teach Hebrew and Greek and not necessarily teach it the way she was taught it because there are other ways. And I've been seeing some videos on the internet of people learning the total immersion methods of Greek and Hebrew. But this, if you want to, this is from Baker, this is the way to learn Hebrew and Greek. No doubt about it. And what this will do, this would give you a foundational level study to then go into the nuances. It's just like English. Um, well, let me just go this route. We, uh, nobody in ancient Greece or ancient Israel knew any of the laws that we have superimposed, like pluperfect and different things, on Hebrew and Greek. We, we, looking backwards, superimpose these laws that are usually not universal laws. So it would make sense to learn Hebrew and Greek the way they did, instead of trying to westernize the learning of Eastern languages. And also a history is in order, which I'm sure probably gets taught at, at many, maybe at Indiana Bible College, probably does, that Greek, the Greek language came from Paleo-Hebrew. That, that is incontrovertible. That is a fact 
that somewhere around 900 BC, Paleo-Hebrew, which was basically Phoenician, was adopted by the Greeks. And the Greeks just tweaked it. So if you know Paleo-Hebrew, you then know the foundation for the Greek language. And that Paleo-Hebrew is the foundation for Greek, for what we call Biblical Hebrew, along with Aramaic, and English. And this is the reason English is such a great receptor language for the translating of the Bible. So, I would tremendously recommend this. I would give it a wholehearted recommendation. I don't know if, you want, if you're interested in this subject. Look, I used to sit and watch YouTube videos for ages. This is the way to learn. Trust me. So, God bless. If you don't learn it, don't come to me, though. I don't know where to go. Just pray. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.